for this morning's message let's turn to isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 എഴുന്നേറ്റ് പ്രകാശിക്കുക നിന്റെ പ്രകാശം വന്നിരിക്കുന്നു യഹോയുടെ തേജസ്സും നിന്റെ മേൽ ഉദിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു will be seen upon you i read verse 2 also which we may not handle today but let's fix our eyes on verse 1 arise shine for your light has come it's your light right to the third person that we are saying your light has come can we look around to somebody and say your light has come yeah. i see this happening in kerala especially if you can remember if you can recollect uh, when the wedding reception is happening there is that camera person who goes around you know and you know some people get embarrassed and uh, some want to hide their plate and some want to show a smiling face because it's come it's that focus that is coming so this morning it is that focus of god that is falling upon each one of our life arise and shine for your light has come upon the lord jesus to recognize that light that is falling on us the lord jesus and this morning we pray that the word would bring healing and deliverance in each one of our lives let your name be glorified in jesus name we pray amen amen the book of isaiah is one of the four major prophetical books that we find in the bible isaiah jeremiah ezekiel daniel right the prophetic books in the bible actually begins with isaiah but it is not so in the hebrew bible i will not go into detail of that the prophetic books comes after pentateuch in the hebrew bible what is this hebrew bible the jewish bible the old testament uh, in the hebrew that is there if you read that you will find that after pentateuch comes the prophets and then comes the writing and that is why for those who know a little bit you will know it is known as tanakh torah nabim ketubim the first letter of all that tanakh but in the in the bible that we have it was just an information the bible that we have we have isaiah as the first prophetical book in the bible that we have right all uh, the major prophets that we have and here we are reading arise and shine for the light has come upon you this morning the question is upon whom does this light come upon whom does this light shine and to know upon whom this light shines we need to read isaiah chapter 1 verse 1 the first chapter of this book verse 1 says the vision concerning judah and jerusalem that Isaiah saw, son of Amos, saw during the reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, king of Judah, kings of Judah. Amos in the Magana, Yeshayava, Yehuda Rajakan Maraya, Uziyava, Yotham, Ahaz, Eheskiava, Enivre Kalati, Yehudim, Erishlem, and Empathy Darshita Darshanam. So this prophecy is primarily to the southern Israel, the kingdom of Judah. We have no time actually to explore all the historical factors there. But after the kingdom of Israel was divided, the southern kingdom, the kingdom of Judah, and those four kings are the kings of Judah. And so this light is coming upon you is for this southern kingdom. Amen? Amen? Uh, where are the southern kingdom at this point of time? They are in exile. We'll talk about that towards the end. They are in exile. They have lost their hope. They do not know what would happen. But when they are in exile, the word of God is coming to them. You don't have to be dejected. You don't have to sit there as nothing more is to happen. The light of God is shining upon you. Hallelujah. For a child of God, for whom does the light shine? Arku vandi ahana devathinda pragasham veedu nada. Arlame lahana devathinda pragasham veedu nada. Hallelujah. Deva sanadil nerod jivikinna deva janathinu vendi. Hallelujah. Adi matthatil Babylon layalum. Sonda desha thayalum deva te aradikinna thanda janathinu vendi. Deva tinda pragasham avarlame vinirikim. Hallelujah. The light of the Lord will shine upon those who are in the presence of God. Look at these four kings. That is what we would look at this morning primarily. The kings of Judah. Uzziah has also that name Azariah. We read about him in 2 Kings chapter 14 verse 21. That he assumed the power. He, he got enthroned. 
in 2 Kings chapter 14 verse 21, but we are not reading that. The next one, 2 Kings chapter 15 verse 3, when we read 2 Kings chapter 15 verse 3, we read this. I want us to read that, 2 Kings chapter 15 verse 3. Avan thandai appanaya amasyavu chedu pole, okayim, Yehovah ki prasadu maayadula chedu. He did what was right in the sight of the Lord. Can we read that? He did Avan Tande Apanaya Amasyava Cheda the Bole. Yeah. Cheda Bolo Kayim Yehovah Prasada Maidalo Chedu. For whom does the light shine? For the ones who do what is right in the sight of God. Don't do things right for the pastor. Don't do things that is right for my spouse or anybody out here. Don't try to please people around. If you can please God. If you can lead a life that is right in the sight of God. For you the light of the Lord will shine upon you. Hallelujah. Was everything perfect in the life of Uziah? No, read the history. You will know that not everything was right. There was troubles in his life. There were shortcomings in his life. Yet, we read that he did right in the sight of God. None of us can be self-righteous. However good we are, however righteous we are, it is the steadfast love of God that is upon our lives. Hallelujah. The second king immediately that we read is, 2 Kings chapter 15 verse 34. Avan Yehovah ki prasada maayadula chedu. Then the appanaya usiyava chedu bolo keim chedu. Who is this? This is King Jotham. Right? King Jotham did what was right in the sight of the Lord. Look at that very carefully. These four kings, if, when you look at them, you will know. See, look at that. Here, Jotham has a legacy. Today we are generations here together, no? Two or three generations together we are worshipping. For Jotham, there is a legacy of his father who did right in the sight of God. Hallelujah! In, jo in Uzziah's life itself, there is something that is wrong. He still had wo false worship in his kingdom, which Jotham did not want to take. I hope you understand what I am saying. You and I have a legacy to hold on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We have a tradition to hold on. A tradition that is right in the sight of God. But from the same source, there can be things that are not right. And you, are, you and I should have the discernment to refuse what is not right in the sight of God. Jotham took that opportunity to do what his father did. The things that were right in the sight of God. And he did what was right in the sight of God. To them, the light of the Lord will shine. Hallelujah. Look at the third king. And it is strange to note that when we read about Ahaz, he did not do what was right in the sight of God. Second Kings chapter 16, verse 2 and 3. Ahas washed the Ranga pole, Avan Idu the Vice Ayrnu, Avan Erishlemil Padinar Sambal Sambanu, then the Pidavai Davi the Chedo Pole, then Deumai Hoveki Prasad Maidula Chedilla. Chedilla, right? Yeah, please read. Avan Israel Rajak and Marada Vadil Naranu, Yehova Israel Makal de Mumbil in the Niki Kalana Jadigal and Mlechigal Kotavanam, then the Magane Akti Pravashno Chechu. If you look at that story, you look at that. Just like Jotham, Ahaz had a good legacy to carry on. His father, his grandfather had good legacy. Right? They, they were transferring. They were handing over good legacy. But Ahaz, instead of gathering, getting hold of that legacy of doing what is right in the sight of God, he chose to do what was not right in the sight of God. You and I may have legacy. You and I have fathers and forefathers who have walked in the path of the Lord which, which was right in the sight of God. But some people, out of their choice, they choose not to trust God but go in the ways of the kings of Israel, the northern kingdom. You look at that story, I will, I will eventually mention the kings of Israel, by and large, they were doing what was not right in the sight of God. King of his, kings of Israel, the northern tribe, they were not doing what was right in the sight of God. They were having false worship. Look at that story right from Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. 
right? The moment he got the northern kingdom, he was afraid that people will go to south and Jerusalem and worship. So let me have false places of worship so that people won't go. In, in need of worship, in need of keeping people with him, he started false worship. And the kings of Israel followed the same pattern. Many of them. And now about Ahas we are reading, he is following the pattern of the kings of Israel, the northern kingdom, than following his father and grandfather who had left good legacy. In the Pagal Kalam, Namaka Kai Mara Petri Kinada, Hallelujah, Deva Sandil, Namada Nalla, Mada Pidakal, the Kail, the Prabichiri Kinada, Hallelujah, Deva Tesatil, Matma, the Mara Dikina, Verbad or Udara Dikina, or the Palambrian Namka Kai Mara Petitanangil, Adil Pudichuana Mara Dikan, our Kuendiana, Deva Tinda Pragasham Shobikinada, our Ramelana, Deva Tinda Pragasham Padikinada, Hallelujah, Namal Matalover Kuendi, Matalover the Compromise, the Matalor lifestyle, Jivichal, Hallelujah, and they there is no point of saying my I come from such a great legacy and a tradition and a family. You and I need to decide very, very, what do you call, very distinctively, consciously, I would worship the Lord. King of Israel could worship the Lord just like the kings of Judah. But they chose not to do that. If you look at Ahas' story, I'll, I'll mention a little bit there. If you look at Ahas, what happened to him? Why did he shift his position? Why did he lift the, leave the way of his fathers and forefathers? When the enemy came to attack him. Yeah? When Syrians and the northern tribe came to attack him. When he thought that he would be defeated. He went to Assyria and asked for help. The Assyrian king came to help him. But in that process of getting help without any motivation, without anybody asking him to do, he raised an altar for the, for the gods of Assyria so that the people of Judah can worship the god of Assyria so that he can please the king of Assyria. What do we find there? In times of crisis, they are clear. Namal Devata Satyatilum Mara Atma will Mara the Kibol, Namka Prayasam Vertil and Vajanam Parenilla, Pasha Prayasat in the Madja till Hallelujah, Anya Desekario, E. Logatilla Prabukal, Asre Kada, Namla Wulicha Deva till Hallelujah, Namada Mada Pidakal, Ara the Chip, Prabicha, Wudalil, Hallelujah, Nelanil Kwan, Talpiri Patal, Deva in the Pragasam Namada Mel Vinirikim, Hallelujah. Let me repeat that in English. If we, as the children of God, who have received the grace of God and deliverance of God, if you and I have witnessed the hand of God and the deliverance of God in our father's life, forefather's life, when crisis comes, we don't have to depend upon the princes and the horses and the chariots of this world. You and I can depend on God who would intervene in our lives, who delivered our fathers, is there to deliver you and me. How many of us can receive this message? Hallelujah. I'm speaking to the next generation, the generations that are coming, a small child here. If you can receive this message, God had worked miracle in the lives of my father. Are there testimonies here of the fathers and parents who have witnessed? God's healing and deliverance tumors being moved cancers being healed it is possible even today people can come back from death if God touches them nothing is impossible I am witness I know very personally a person who died and who came back to life it is possible if God can do it then God can do it now so whom do we trust don't trust the world and be driven away into the things of this world. We are living in a very challenging situation, very challenging times when our children have to face, as we heard, all the identity problems out there. They have been confused, though they are born properly, they are confused. And somehow there is distortion. But in midst of that, if the word of God, which led our forefathers and which is leading us, you and me as parents, our children will be led by the presence of God. And the word of God would lead them. How many of us have that confidence in the Lord? Continue to worship the Lord. Don't compromise on worship. Don't compromise on Sunday worship, the corporate worship, and get into the world and worldly things of camping and touring and all that. That will destroy you and your generation. But if you and I can stand according to the word of God, if you and I can continue to worship the Lord, if you as parents can instill that worship in your children, hallelujah, the light will shine for them. 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teach our generation to fast and pray. Teach our generation to study the word of God. Teach our generation to walk in the ways of God. Then you and I will receive the light of the Lord. When? When there is darkness all around. When there is chaos all around. Let there be pandemic all around. Let there be restrictions all around. But God's grace will be upon you and me. In 2024, you and I are standing here alive. Praising Jesus because of his steadfast love. Jesus, hallelujah. Ahaz did not do what was right in the sight of the Lord. As I said, if you look at these few chapters that we are looking at, 2 Kings chapter 15, 16, 17, and probably 18. If these chapters, if you look at, we read about four kings of Judah, out of which three of them, three of them, even the next one, Hezekiah, they did what was right in the sight of the Lord. But the kings of Israel, I just noted that, beginning with Jeroboam, uh, son of Nebat, and then you have Jeroboam, uh, no, son of Joash, son of Joash, same name but different person. And then Zechariah, Shalom, Menahem, Pekiah, Pekka, and Hosea, almost seven of them. You read the story going parallel with these four kings. All these seven kings you read, they did not do what was right in the sight of the Lord. Israel in the Charitram Nokial, Yed Raja Kanmarum, David in Anishtamaya the Chedan on number of Waikin other, David in the Prasadagarmaya, the Unum Avriche in the La, Unnan Pinale on Night. What is the tradition legacy that they are carrying? My father did not do what was right in the sight of God. I will also not do what is right in the sight of God. That legacy they carried. What happened? As we heard. In this morning through the adult Sunday school. What happened we can read in 2 Kings chapter 18 verse 11 and 12. Run to Raja Kanmar, Padinatta, Padinundum Pandarandum. Ashur Rajava, Israel ne Ashur Lake Pritishu undu poi, Hal Hillum, Gosan Nadi Diratula, Harborlum, Medirata Patanulum Parpichu, Avar Tangal Devma, Yehoda Shabdan Ket and Sirikade, Avand the name of Yehoda Dasna, Mosha Kalpich, the Kim Lengichu Kalegyal, the name. Our other Kelkyo and Srikyo Chedrinilla. Yeah. So, what do we read there? The kings of Israel did not obey God, they disobeyed God, they violated the covenant, right? They neither listened nor carried the covenant of God in their life. And so, what happened? They were carried away. They were carried away into exile. And when I read that, you will know not one of them were left in the land. Not one of them were left in the land. All of them were carried away. That's how the scripture portrays. When you and I do what is not pleasing in the sight of the Lord, you may get temporary blessings from the neighbors. Temporary protection. Ahas got temporary protection from uh, no, Tilgath Pilenasar and, and the Assyrian kings. He got temporary protection. The Assyrians came and attacked northern Israel. They took them captive. We got temporary deliverance. But eventually, when the kings of Judah also followed doing and started doing things that were not right in the sight of God, they were also taken to exile. Though these four kings, we read that they did what was right in the sight of God. We read that the kings of Judah also eventually did what was not right in the sight of God. And that is where they were taken into exile. Now the northern kingdom went into Assyria. The southern kingdom went into Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar came and attacked. They are in Babylon. How do we know that? Isaiah chapter 1 verse 2, he is prophesying, hear me, O heavens, this morning I know we have understood by now, the book of Isaiah, the prophecy of Isaiah is for the southern kingdom, for the kings of the southern kingdom, Judah, and in chapter 1 verse 2 we read, hear me, you heavens, listen earth, for the Lord has spoken, I read children and brought them up, but they have rebelled against me. Yeah. Agashame <laughs> Humi e chevi deriga, Yehova early chino, Nyan makale poti valarti, Avero enod malserichirikino. 
in this morning when god is looking at you and me i cannot fix my eyes on everybody i do not know everything of everybody but when god fixes his eyes upon me am i doing what is right in the sight of god hear me you heavens listen earth i read children brought them up but they have rebelled against me deliberately disobeying god even when there is opportunity to obey god we disobey god and god is looking at such generation and saying light will not shine on you we want to take isaiah 61 and rejoice and enjoy throughout the year but let's never forget isaiah chapter 1 and till 39 the chapter of isaiah if you want the light to shine he wants us to come back isaiah chapter 1 verse 7 even when the warning was given right isaiah chapter 1 verse 7 the warning is given to the southern kingdom your country is desolate your city is burned with fire your fields are being stripped by foreigners right before you laid waste as when overthrown by strangers ningalude desham shunyamayi ningalude patnangal theekireyayi ningal kaanke anya jaadikar ningalude naadu yes thinnu kalayunu adu anya jaadikar unmoola naasham cheyidha pole shunyamayi irikkunu amen if we are not right look at israel what has happened nammada chuttumulla oru kaalathu devathe aaradhiche deiva janathu nokki ദൈവത്തെ വിട്ട് കളഞ്ഞത് കൊണ്ട് ഈ ലോക രീതിയിൽ പോയോണ്ട് അവരുടെ അന്ത്യം എങ്ങനെ തീർന്നിരിക്കുന്നു അതെങ്കിലും കണ്ടിട്ട് മാനസാന്തരപ്പെടുകയും ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ഐസിയ ഇസ് പ്രൊഫസൈങ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ നോർത്ത് ആൻഡ് കിങ്ഡം ദി ആർ ഡിസ്ട്രോയിഡ് അറ്റ് ലീസ്റ്റ് നൗ നോ ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഗോഡ് ഇസ് എൻ ജസ്റ്റ് ഗോഡ് ഇഫ് യു ഡോ ഒബേ യു വിൽ ഓൾസോ ഗോ ഇൻ ടു എക്സൈൽ ദാറ്റ് വാർണിംഗ് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ടൈം ആൻഡ് അഗെയിൻ അഗെയിൻ ആൻഡ് അഗെയിൻ യു ആൻഡ് ഐ റിസീവ് ദാറ്റ് വാർണിംഗ് i am not here to threaten any one of us i am not here to kind of disturb any one of us in that i do not want no preacher want to do it but the word of god if it disturbs you and me this morning let us go on our knees and get back to god in the right relationship with god and then the light of god will shine upon you jesus look at isaiah chapter 1 verse 16 and 17 what is expected what can we do when we are in darkness when we are in exile what can we do ningale kaligi vedipakuvin ningalde pravartigalde doshate ende kannin munbil ninnu neeki kalayuvin tinma cheynadu madiyakuvin nanma cheyuvan padikuvin nyayam anveshikuvin peedipikunavare nervali aakuvin anathana nyayam nadathi kodukuvin vidhavekku vendi vyavaharikuvin Yes read that carefully wash and make yourself clean this morning as we are in the presence of god as we are allowing the word of god which is a lamp to our feet allowing the word of god to speak to us can we say lord wash me and make me clean i and all of us etra perku devathinte rakthathinte oru kaligal avashyamundu enikku avashyamundu how many of us need that cleansing blood of jesus to cleanse us none of us are perfect as i began saying we need that cleansing blood of jesus wash and make me clean take your evil deeds out of my sight nobody knows what you are doing nobody knows what i am doing but take that evil thing if there is any out of our life so that when god looks on us his light can fall on you and me hallelujah the message is very powerful very significant transforming that can be a shift that can happen in our life yes i believe that how many of us believe when we get back to god hallelujah darkness will be dispelled light will shine for you and me hallelujah not because of preaching but because of our submission because we receive that word hallelujah take away that evil deed from my sight from the sight of god stop doing wrong the conscience speaks to us yes the spirit of god that is given to us will speak to us if he is speaking to you that this is wrong stop doing that then the light of god will shine upon you and me verse 17 learn to do right learn it is something that has to be practiced learn to do right seek justice that is very important in the prophetic books seek justice if i give 
My child, as I, those who were there for Bible study yesterday, you will know. If I give my older child a gift, I must be able to give the same equal amount of gift to my second child. If there is injustice there, that is not acceptable in the sight of God. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. There are many people who are oppressed. oppressed. You and I have the call to defend the oppressed. Upon you, the light will shine. Take up the cause of the fatherless. They are the most weak ones in the society. What do you have? What do I have? When we have our fathers with us, who can vouch for us, who can speak for us, there's so much of confidence. But the fatherless, you and I have the responsibility to defend them. God is the father of the fatherless. This morning, let this be an encouragement, a confirmation. If we miss our father, what our earthly father cannot do, our heavenly father will do for you and me. Church, dear ones, we have the responsibility to take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. They are again the most weak ones. Yes, we read that's why in James chapter 1 verse 17, James was chapter 1 verse 27, religion that God our father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. James 1.27 Pidavaya Devatinna Munbhage Shuddho Nirmalo Mayula Bhaktiyo Anathareim Vidho Mareim Avarada Sangadatil Chinnu Khaanandadum Logatthal Ulla Kalangam Pachada Vannam Tannathaan Kaathu Kholundadum Agunnu Some people have love, misinterpreted love. Some people have love which is distorted love. The love that is mentioned here is pure love. To consider the widows and the orphans. To help them. To defend for them. For such people, the light of God will shine upon you. Hallelujah. This morning as we come to Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Let us take it as a promise. Even when the Israelites were in exile. Adimathathil. Hallelujah. Our Babylon nil aharinna pudum. Devathinu endi nero odu jivicha Daniel na mail. Devathinna volicham pragashichu. Hallelujah. Adimathathil nero odu jivicha oro tharkum endi. Devathinna pragasham. Devathinna volicham avar na mail. Vishi. In the pagal kalam whatever situation that you are in. Or I am in. Sometimes darkness is all around. And that is why Isaiah 60 verse 2 says. For behold darkness shall cover the earth. And thick darkness the people. You and I are living in a situation. We are unemployment, mortgage, relationship problem, various problems that our dear ones are agonizing, are broken. They are in thick darkness, don't know what to do next. But for you and me, even in darkness, we are not in despair because we trust in the Lord who holds our hand. In the Pagal Kalam, they would in the Kalam and the Purichit on the Norapol Ethra Beriwood on the Hallelujah. And the Garat in a Madatil, E Logan in a Tagar Chada Madatil, Hallelujah, Pabatilum, Adimatil, my tear in the Madatil, they would in the Kalam, Ningle, men name Purichit on the in midst of the catastrophe that is happening around, in midst of chaos that is happening around. In midst of all distractions that are happening around. In midst of darkness that is all around. You and I, even though we are in midst of darkness, the light is shining for you because you and I are able to do what is right in the sight of God. Jesus, hallelujah. How many of us can take time to get back to God? Yes, hallelujah. He is a faithful God. He is a God who can forgive. None of us are perfect. But what is expected is that we return. We return. We return to the Lord. We repent. We repent. Hallelujah. As we return, as we repent, as we confess our sins, the light of God will shine upon you and me. You and I may be in darkness because of sins and because of wrongdoings. But the moment we repent, the moment we return, the moment we confess our sins, 
we have a heavenly father, a compassionate father who says that I forgive you and my light is shining upon you. As we heard this morning, let the word of God continue to light up our lives. Let the word of God continue to lead us. Thank you.